up guys this is heat king here bringing you a new video regarding uh, some resident evil news so i'm going to be reading this article here that i heard about the other day and it's a surprise and sort of not a surprise if it ends up being true but yeah capcom's new trademarks hint at resident evil 1 remake it looks like we're getting a resident evil 1 remake again Properly similar to what we got with RE2 and RE3 and now Resident Evil 4 remake coming out. So yeah, um, let's read through this article and then give my thoughts on this. Before I start, of course, remember to like and subscribe, of course, guys, please. And yeah, let's go through this. So Capcom has been consistent with the remakes of its Resident Evil franchise with the release of Resident Evil 2 and 3 remake in 2019 and 2020, respectively. Respect respectively the studio has made a positive image in this niche and proved to the fans that they can deliver excellent remakes of their games by keeping the essence of the original game and neutralizing the latest hardware and technology to give a more immersive experience to the fans blah 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 uh, let's just get to the main meat of this as spotted by Twitter news are at tippy uh, power Capcom has recently filed for the trademark of the terms Stars Department Raccoon Police and Resident Evil Director's Cut. So we got something, we got a Twitter post here, uh, and uh, the news uh, pretty much says, I really do hope Capcom are planning a new version of the first Resident Evil game. A new gen offering would be amazing. And we do see sort of like the logo, the Stars logo there that they've trademarked. Both trademarks uh, filing dates are the 7th and 8th of December 2020, respectively. The interesting thing to notice here is that Capcom had already registered these trademarks way back in 1997 before the Resident Evil Director's Cut was released in 1998. So is this just Capcom doing another re-release of the Director's Cut? I mean, it's on the PSN as well, I think for free if you wanted to, if you wanted to play it. So I, I did like a few weeks ago, that was surprising. But, or... And did the, did the trademark finish and now they're just sort of re-trademarking it? Or is this something more? Is this a hint? Because this is interesting what he says here, that they trademarked the Resident Evil Director's Cut before the actual game was released. However, the trademark for these terms was cancelled in 2012. Due to a policy enforced by the reg uh, regulatory body to keep the trademark terms in use. Therefore, registering these terms again indicates that Capcom plans to reuse them. Ah. Keep, uh, keep in mind the studio's track record with the frequent remakes of Resident Evil games recently, it should not come as a surprise if Capcom announces a remake of a Resident Evil Director's Cut in the future. So, a remake of the Director's Cut? Mm, it's... It will be fascinating to see something like that, especially for a Resident Evil fan, as the latest remake of Resident Evil 4 has pushed the boundaries of the remake saga for new third-person perspective, visual improvements, enhanced gameplay mechanics with the addition of unique gameplay style, but still keeping the real essence of the original game. It should be noted that the file terms are only trademarks and do not fully imply that Capcom is planning a remake of the original game. Even if it is true, it may be a little longer before we hear an official statement from the studio, so it is advised to keep your expectations in check and take the new of a grain of salt until further no further confirmation from Capcom so yeah it could just be it could be it could be just a case of them um, you know f trademarking uh, those titles again but it's interesting that they did point out that the, the original trademarks of this ended in 2012 so why did they wait about 10 years later to file for them again why why that long period why do that unless they got something cooking in which case it's a remake of the original game again but with the third person perspective would i want that um ironic enough i started playing this because of the news the origins of collection we ended up getting this after so many years of people never having played this because it was only available on the gamecube but it was released on the ps3 in japan and then it came out here on the PS4 in this little bundle, which includes Zero, of course. And that's the interesting thing I want to talk about. If they did a remake of Resident Evil 1, would it be a remake of 1 or would it be a remake of both of these games? Because wouldn't it make sense to sort of do a remake of both these games as one complete package, perhaps? Because that's one of the things I've always thought about. Like, if you're going to remake the original game again with the mechanics of the recent remakes involved, wouldn't it just make sense to do zero at the same time or combine the stories of zero and ori one together to 
make this big giant Spencer Mansion Raccoon Forest duology in a way. I don't know. I think that would be pretty kick-ass. But do I think they are going to make a remake of this as a whole? Um, I think they would because what other remakes are they going to do next? RE5? I feel like it's a bit too soon. Like, RE5 is sort of still fresh, I think, in people's minds. Um, and of course, the obvious thing to do next as a remake would be called Veronica, right? But I don't know. I feel like it would make more sense to do an RE1 remake first so people can play Chris... Chris's story essentially and get introduced to Wesker properly and see that relationship between them and then do a remake of Cold Veronica where we focus on those two characters again and Claire comes back obviously and then do a Resident Evil 5 remake afterwards. I feel like they're doing sort of like a trilogy with these games in a way you know you had RE2, 3 and now 4 and that's sort of like the Raccoon City slash Leon like trilogy saga if you will you know uh, and then with Resident with this new with the Resident Evil remake and Cold Veronica and RE5, you got sort of like the Chris versus Wesker slash stars uh, like rivalry going on. So I don't know, maybe that's what they're sort of trying to do. It would make sense, wouldn't it, to remake all of those games essentially with the mechanics. I'm hoping it's true. I'm hoping. I wouldn't mind playing it. I know some people are going to be like, well, you know, it's not going to be a proper remake. And you're right, it's not going to be a proper remake. Resident Evil remake is a proper remake. Resident Evil 2 and 3 are reimaginings, and Resident Evil 4 is also going to be a reimagining. But from what we've seen so far of that game, it seems to be more of a mix of half remake, half reimagining. So they're combining the two elements together to give us that proper original experience, but updated with new improvements and new things added to the lore, perhaps. Which is good. It's a good way of doing it. I wasn't really a big fan of Resident Evil 2 or Freeze remakes. I feel like they cut way too much and changed way too much. But with 4, it's like, I don't mind the changes, because the original 4, at least in terms of lore and narrative, wasn't that special and wasn't really done well. So, and from everything I've heard regarding the Resident Evil 4 remake, it, it's Capcom essentially going, yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna do right by this, but we're also gonna fix what didn't work in the original game to please, you know, all the fan bases. Like, so, I'm seeing good things from that regardless. But a Resident Evil 1 remake, I mean, the remake we already have is perfect. So, essentially a reimagining. The one big thing that I didn't like about the original remake is the fact that we didn't get a proper ending that has all four characters surviving, which consists of uh, Chris, Jill, Barry, and Rebecca. You either play Chris's campaign and you only save Rebecca and Jill and Barry just disappeared, or you play Jill's campaign and you rescue Chris and Barry, but Rebecca's just, again, she's not in there in that campaign. I would like it if they did it in a way where you can just get all four of them together and escape and we get that one cohesive ending. That would be amazing. And then of course, adding maybe elements of Resident Evil Zero to it perhaps, maybe getting James Marcus involved, adding more. One of the things I would probably say is I want more character development for the Bravo team. They didn't get their chance to shine. Resident Evil Zero should have been a Bravo team centric game and it wasn't. So I don't know, maybe we bring Billy back. That's one of the things I'm saying, like maybe they should combine those two games and make this one big grand uh, uh, Resident Evil remake that includes elements of Resident Evil Zero in it. But we have to wait and see, we have to just wait and see what happens because I think after RE4 it's going to be one of those cases of where they're going to go next. We know RE9 is coming, we know that, but there's a bunch of Resident Evil games that were announced that we've not heard from since. Uh, when I say announced, not officially, more like they were leaked and rumoured but we haven't heard anything about them. What happened to Resident Evil Outrage or Outbreak, if it was called that? What happened to Resident Evil Hank? I mean, uh, the assumption is they got cancelled, but maybe they didn't. Maybe they well we worked. Maybe whatever they were doing with Outrage is now Resident Evil 9, perhaps. I don't know. Like, uh, that's, that's the thing. Like, we know they were making multiple games, or at least they were planning to, and something changed. I guess, you know, COVID came and messed a lot of things up. So, uh, some certain things, certain games would have been put on the holding deck if you will uh, or the chopping block so yeah it's gonna be interesting to see what direction they go after RE4 because uh, the assumption is that RE9 will come out next but will that come out in 2024 then because Capcom has this thing where they want to try and release a game every year so you know this year it was it was the winter's expansion for RE8 and Reverse finally coming out and next year it's RE4 and uh, the VR for RE8 so what's 2024 then? RE9, which I hear isn't coming out till 2025, or is it something else? 
And there's also the fact to consider the anniversary of Resident Evil. The, the 30th anniversary of Resident Evil is going to be in 2026. I'm sort of wondering, are we going to get RE... We're going to get RE4 next year, and then we get RE9 in 2024, which I think would be a bit too fast, considering RE8 just came out in 21. Or is it a different game? And then for 20... And we get it in 25, essentially, and then we get the remake for Resident Evil 1 in 2026. Followed by a remake of Cold Veronica in 27, and then RE5 in 28. Would that make sense? Or RE5 remake in 29? Because that would be the anniversary, because the original RE5 came out in 2009, so that would be what? That would be 20 years. That would be a wise way of uh, doing the anniversaries and that. Future Ward. But yeah. That's my thoughts on this, guys. I hope you like it. I hope we get some news soon uh, for regarding future RE games next year after RE4 comes out. I'm very curious where Capcom's going. And yeah, I hope you like this video, guys. And I shall see you when I shall see you. Don't forget to like and subscribe again. And take care. And bye.